a remote tribe in the Amazon in Brazil got high-speed internet for the first time thanks to Starlink, mm. and the results complete. So this, when you say tribe in the middle of the Amazon, they have nothing. Like they, they, people don't even know they exist. They have nothing to do with civilization. They have their own Correct. They way just have of their living. Own, yeah, they're they're a tribe. They have tribe leaders. Just old school. I mean, it's like way back in the day. Type stuff like do they not used. know civilization exists, or they choose not to be with it? I think some of them don't even know. They don't know. Some yeah. of oh them gosh, don't even know. You're yeah, kidding. they're like in their own mm-hmm. real, like le- legit bubble. Because mm-hmm. so you can go you through the whole life and not even re- yeah. realize your perception of the world is have no idea. This is there's no way. Yes, I promise. Mm-hmm. If you've ever, and this is not just this one tribe that it's never happened before. They have there's documentation and documentaries you can watch where there are. Uh, people in civilization who find these tribes, identify them, and then them go into these tribes for the very first time. And the people in the tribes don't have any idea Mm -hmm. what other humans look like. But there's a leader that that knows they're just hiding it. No, no, I, I don't no, think so. No, they've grown so. up generation to generation. They don't, yeah. they're not, they don't have access to certain cities. I mm-hmm. can't believe it. Yeah. Well, it's it true. If you think about this, now this is different. The most populous country on earth, also, they don't know a lot of the truth at all. They, they're, they're China. I mean, of course, they, oh, know, they well. know what other people look like, but everything's filtered, so their whole yeah. life is a lie. And in I that mean, case, that is done by another human being. No, that's being. done by, yes. these are just remote tribes. Yeah. It's just like thinking in the middle of the woods, it's, it's not going to walk 100 miles to see if anything else is. They could still be in the middle of the woods 100 mm-hmm. miles from there. Mm-hmm. That is insane to me. I know, it's crazy to yeah. think about. Well, they got high-speed internet, and it, of course, a disaster. Oh. Right away, the internet was a huge hit, and people were on it all the time, so much that it became a problem for the hunting and the farming that are necessary for their way of life. And so what the Mruvo leaders did is nowadays, in almost all of the villages, the internet is only on for several hours in the morning and several hours in the evening, and then all day Sunday. So right away, the tribe, they had to put in, what what they were dealing with uh, a lot of now gossip and group chats. (laughs) Mm. Tribe members talking trash about each other. Oh, wow. no. Like we do. Yeah. Addictive social networks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Abusive online strangers. Uh-huh. Damn. Hours and hours of sports streaming. They're like, mm-hmm. what is this? That. Yeah. yeah. Violent video games. Uh-huh. <laughs> Scams. Yeah. Misinformation. And minors watching porn. Oh. <laughs> Just as human as us. <laughs> so it's natural. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And so they had, you know, you know, like we, are, our parents, or, or your, if you're a parent, you put time limits on your kid's phone. Mm-hmm. The tribe leaders have done the time limits already. Like, hey, because uh-huh. they, like they said, they have to hunt, they have to gather, they have or to they farm. Or they don't eat, they don't survive. So in this and case, so like, I'm online. Forget this. Yeah. In this case, the tribe knows that exist, uh, other civilization exists, but they choose to stay. We don't I guess know. Well, they, know they, they do point. now. Yeah, yeah but they somehow got. The Starlink, mm-hmm. they must have somehow knew about that. So somebody knew and brought it to mm-hmm. them, and now they, they opened the world up to. So, th- like, if I were one of the people in the, there, and all of a sudden I realized I went on this internet and I was like, oh my gosh, there's this life out there, I would try to leave. And oh, well, that's what you think, but this if that's all they've ever known, right? It could mm-hmm. be a very, very scary thing. There are people who don't leave their hometowns that they were born and raised in because it, the world is scary yeah. well, and they don't I, want to. I think to. the Amish are a good example. Sure. They have Rumspringa where they leave yep. and they get to go and party or just do whatever they want, mm-hmm. whatever they want, choose to do, and the vast majority come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, They and choose not to live in the with well, everyone else. I guess, I guess not accustomed to it? They're not accustomed to it, and then also you lose your family. Oh, they yeah. don't that's like you, yeah. yeah, and and also Rum Springa was, it's been going on forever and ever where you get the opportunity to say at a certain age, yes, I want to commit my life to this, and then some, I, w- I would say a majority don't take it. I think it was because, and I grew up in an Amish community, I'm not Amish, but I grew up in an, for 12, 14 years of my life, and it was, not, people didn't do it. But when the reality television show came along, Rum Springa, of course there were kids who were going to take it, and so then they become exploited in a way. Right, and then it makes right, it right. seem like every Amish kid goes and parties their face off and then comes back. That's just not the so truth. So the real the option it's not, to do it, have, and most don't do it. It's not, and it's not even like, oh, it's to go party your face off. Just it's go, to, to see what else is out there. Go see, and then if, if you really, truly want to commit your life to this way of living and this family, and most... Stay. Don't take it and most stay. Yeah. Because otherwise you don't get to see your family. I you don't, don't get... like that aspect yeah. of, no, we're just, if you would choose the other life, we're never going to see my family again. That's horrible. I don't think that they cut you off, but I think that it's like, 
You've, your life is so mm-hmm. different. Yeah, you've gone to yeah. live a different way. You're gonna be. You can't. You're not gonna be living in the same place because mm-hmm. they don't have electricity. They don't believe in it. You know. Mm-hmm. Wow. So. Yeah. But yeah, it's crazy. But right away, as soon as they got the internet in this remote village in Brazil, it's like porn, terrible social media, and talking trash. <laughs> yeah. I think the talking trash though that existed already did. That but totally mm-hmm. existed. Now it's easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. quicker. That's yeah. just human nature. Uh huh. Yeah. Before I, we, I had to like call Squid and talk trash about Katie. Call Jason yep. and talk trash about Katie. Which we call still Matt, do. Talk, don't get us wrong. But but now it's just. In a group text, yeah, uh-huh. in yeah. front of the person, yeah, yeah. it's mm-hmm. real nice. It's less hurtful, like you don't feel as bad when you're typing it, right? But then if you if I said it to your face, I'd feel a little bad. Yeah, oh yeah, right. definitely. Yeah, and it's giving <laughs> the outlet to talk about what they've that's on their mind, but they're comfortable saying it because they have a screen. Yes, yeah. If case in point, the best example, Matt. Matt will come out of the group chat oh, yeah. and be say things that I'm like, oh my he would never, god, never yeah. say oh my god. Not that he's a coward, but it's because like he's we feel a, safe. He's yeah. a nicer person. Yeah, and mo- yeah. Mostly, I'm in a different room and can't say it as often right. as I'd like. Yeah, yeah. Also That's that. True. Also yeah. that. That's true. All right, so we'll see how this uh, this tribe will devolve at some point. Oh, yeah, well, that know. makes me sad. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Especially the porn and stuff, you know? Really? That was the least for me. I know, because you're you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) you're you. I already think that the the trash talking exists. I think those those types of things, they're human beings. Mm -hmm. You joke, you have your own... But the scam, the fraud, the violence. The laziness, like, right away made it more lazy because you're... You're like, oh, I'd re- it's it's more dopamines are released when you're looking at your screen and watching yeah. things than yeah. when you're out there trying to find a, I don't know, whatever they eat. Yeah. <laughs> I would suck at it. <laughs> One of the leaders yeah. said he was particularly troubled by the spread of pornography because we're worried some of the young people are going to want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> and they will want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder if uh, the part that they're worried about is that they're going to try to put it on the internet. Because would they be as oh. worried about it if it stays within the tribe and within, you know? Yeah, well, they're all, I don't mine, know. They're minors, too. I don't know how young they oh, are. Oh, the minors. I forgot the about minors, that part. Not the adults. Oh, oh the right. adults are like, oh, that's terrible. But then when the kids go to bed, they're like, hey. Got it. Mm-hmm. Got it.